Hello, Virgie Virgie. Hi, babies. <laughs> Welcome to your reading. I got messages for you. The song that I was hearing, Virgo, was I Will Wait For You by Future, is it? So either somebody is saying that they'll wait for you or somebody is waiting for you to start something new with them, the Ace of Wands. This could be someone that's coming to apologize or somebody just waiting by the phone for you or they're waiting for you to contact them or they're waiting they waiting for you. Yeah, the nine of swords. Somebody's up all night waiting for you or they they worried, Virgo. Are you worrying somebody? You got somebody a little stressed out? We have the nine of swords and the magician, Virgo. Your energy coming out. Or this could be a Gemini that's worried. Um, or this could be some type of magic here. Somebody could be worried about the manifestations or somebody's guilty here from doing magic or... Or are they feeling guilty from trying to manipulate you, Virgo? Yeah, look at this. I feel like a magician is um, learning a karmic lesson. Somebody here is learning a karmic lesson about doing spell work or about manip manipulating folks or trying to be a smooth talker. I feel like this person could be learning a lesson because maybe you close out a cycle with them. So, <clears throat> yeah, I'm here. I will wait for you. Or somebody saying, I'm going to wait for you. Even when you acting cold, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Thank you guys for the donations, the likes, the comments, the subscribes. Oh, Virgy, Virg, what's up? Yeah, so I'm picking up somebody could be having nightmares, or they could be going through a lot of paranoia because it's like they lost their chance with you. Something here about midnight or a night owl, not night owl, Virgo. We have giving money, rejected. You know what, Virgo? What I'm seeing. Either somebody was paid to reject you. I feel like maybe you rejected someone when they wanted you to give them some money or somebody wants some money from you. We got extra triggered again. We have pregnancy. So as soon as I split the deck, that's what was coming out. And I decided to pull them. Okay. So somebody's simping on you, but they're a spiritual hater here as well. Or whoever this is that's a spiritual hater. Somebody's like simping on you. Okay, maybe you could wear like your hair like this. Or something here when it has to do with like going out to the pool. Or maybe somebody here is sprung. You probably take good care of yourself. Maybe somebody likes your backside. They like the way your ass look. Or <laughs> Because I just can't help but look look at this. So some of y'all could be very spiritual. And y'all could, you know, maybe you could wear your hair over your eye like that. It's very like, very appealing, very attractive. Because I know Nicki Minaj has a Virgo moon. So y'all can have Sagittarius in your chart. I just feel like somebody here could be like simping on you. And it could be like, um, hold on. Oh, that's the other piece. Somebody could be simping on you. But they could be hating on your spirituality too here as well, Virg. I'm picking up this energy trying to possibly bully you. Or, you know, how that go. Virgo. What are the most important messages here for Virgo? Spirit guys, angels, and ancestors. Thank you guys for... Did I say that already? Allow me to uh, give Virgo the messages that they need to hear at this time. Protect me from any negative energy. Protect my Virgos from any negative energy. Somebody wants money. But they could be blocked. Somebody wants you to give them some money, or maybe they want to give you some money. For Virgo, something could have been unfair. Let's see for Virgo.
Let's see what the messages is. Because I just did Leo and I wanted to make sure I was shuffling right. So, I mean, I shuffled the cards right. Damn, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <sighs> we have the Moon in reverse. We have the Nine of Swords upright. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Put this down so y'all can see it a little bit just want to scoot so yeah we have the ten of pentacles in reverse the moon in reverse the nine of swords in reverse and the ten of cups in reverse hmm okay <clears throat> virgo cancer pisces gemini So it, either you could be finding out as soon as you disconnected from somebody that you're pregnant, Virgo, or that as soon as you break up from someone or like, um, yeah, you could be finding out that you're pregnant. This could have somebody triggered, upset, angry. There could be some type of misaligned values here. Okay, we have rejected. Either somebody here could be gaining conscious or clarity here or why they needed to reject someone or they're releasing fear. So, also, somebody may need your help and they may need your assistance here because they're they're experiencing some type of like um problems here in finance finances finances or financial loss or lack of instability. This could be a, a family discord, like uh, family members are getting into it. This could be about money. This could be about an inheritance. Maybe they lost it or this is a, um, a family here has been rejected from some type of inheritance here. Or so there's a lack of resources. There's failure. This could be like the dark side of the wealth. I'm picking up somebody has gotten caught doing something. What's the um, 10 of pentacles? Yeah, something is over. We have the world card or something here is completed. Whoever this is that was experiencing some type of lack of resources here, maybe they needed to learn a cycle or they need, okay, not learn a cycle. Maybe they need to, maybe somebody's closing down a shop or closing down a business and they're like, maybe they could be giving you money or somebody lost something. They lost something big, something tangible. And I'm picking up a cycle is closed here with the world card. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. We have Virgo here with the Ten of Pentacles. This could be something here long term, longevity. What's the world in the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? The Six of Swords. Yeah, because I'm getting... There could be trouble coming out. Okay, this could be some type of unfinished business, but a cycle is closed. I don't understand. So, either someone here could have been clo could have closed the cycle, and then something's going to come out about someone. Okay, but this could be like emotional uh, emotional baggage that someone is like refusing to heal. So maybe this could be trouble heading your way after a cycle has already been closed, Virgo, or something like that. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Virgo. Someone here is like resisting some type of change. So maybe they could be coming back to you after a cycle has been closed, but they're coming back to you with little to no resources. They're coming back with nothing or they're coming back with a lot of emotional baggage and because they feel like they have unfinished business. It seems like you close out a cycle. You have completed something. You have accomplished something with this energy or whoever or with a family member of yours or somebody here that you was in a commitment with or shared children with here, you completed a cycle. And now somebody could be coming back or somebody's coming to you with a lie. Aquarius, this could be an Aquarius feminine energy. Somebody's like purposely coming towards you with a lie or being very bitter and dismissive, cold hearted, or somebody's lying on a healer somebody saying that this healer is bitter they're cold-hearted or or something like that what's the six of swords what's the trouble coming out 
the three of swords yeah about an ex-lover or cheating betrayal or somebody here that lied on someone so this could be a love triangle this could be like the third party coming towards you for some reason a third party could be wanting to come towards you about a lover that possibly you ended the situation with you're not not even talking to this person Verg. And somebody's like trying to come to you as a woman to check you woman to woman or or something like that or man to man or whoever the fuck this is that's planning to come to you and check, i don't know why but it could be trouble coming out about this damn um this taurus or this could be like a scorpio taurus energy heavy scorpio energy somebody here could be recovering behind the scenes I'm hearing something about a recovering addict or something like that. Yeah, somebody's recovering from being with this queen of pentacles in reverse. Nagging, jealous, cold-hearted, bad mother. What's the three of swords? So something here about a breakup as well. We have the hangman. Hey so maybe you're enlightened that somebody's just always going to be a cheater or they're always going to bring some type of emotional pain or setbacks or... Maybe you and something here about a divorce here as well. Like maybe you enlightened that somebody broke up. Excuse me. You could be enlightened that somebody broke up or they released the situation. Or maybe you could be changing your perspective and you could be releasing your eggs. Yeah, because we have the hierophant in reverse. Mm hmm. Hmm. You could be surrendering an ex of yours or or maybe you just, yeah, you're letting go. Maybe you need to. Maybe you need to let go of your ex. Because I'm getting somebody always needs money or they always need a handout or they always need some type of assistance here. It's like, I don't know why they going, why they always need money. What is the hangman of three of swords? You could be dealing with a Libra or a Pisces. We have the seven of cups. In reverse. So I'm picking up somebody could be dropping the illusions or the distractions or the temptation now. All of a sudden, they're like, nah, I'm just going to drop the third parties. The, I'm going to drop, drop the temptation here. But I feel like something here could be like a, a distraction or somebody's trying to create some type of diversion for you. This could be a Scorpio. Yeah, because they could be taking action here. Or said that somebody here is going through karma. Ma major especially when it has to do with their money it's like they're trying to create some type of diversion so that way you don't see that they're going through their karma but they took action to do something here now they stepped into the will of fortune in reverse <laughs> a bad turn of events by them being greedy or i'm picking up this energy tried to delay you this could be your ex that tried to delay you or maybe you're not you're not confused or you're not you're not distracted you know what's going on or somebody's trying to distract you so that way you can accept their ass back with the with them in a will of fortune and a page of pentacles in reverse somebody here could have been abused and divination this person is going through setbacks like crazy and it's like they want to come towards you now bird yeah so this is like this is the saying like i'll wait for you yeah the king of pentacles Maybe you could be, yeah, the king of pentacles could be fragile right now or somebody's not protected or they're weak or they may have to give up. What's this? Uh, what's the hangman, hey seven of cups? The strength card, yeah. So somebody's holding back from their options or it's like this energy has something on control or maybe this energy is having the strength to like walk away or let go of their options or surrender these people that they've been um with and now they want to be loyal to you verb you could be dealing with a leo a pisces or scorpio or a libra they want to be loyal to you I feel like somebody's trying to force you to believe something when like you already see it the seven of cups in reverse is like you having like a reality check so it's like 
somebody's trying to like either force you to see something their way and i feel like maybe you don't see it their way you have full-on clarity seven of cups in reverse could be like you having full clarity in the moon in reverse you have clarity as to why something is 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 the way it is so it's like somebody's trying to make you believe something like told different i don't know it's like they're trying to make you think differently about a situation but this all this is all out of control ego and pride or maybe somebody struggles with their pride or something like that What's the moon card? The magician. So, yeah. <sighs> the justice and the knight of pentacles in reverse. So, Virgo, what I'm seeing, maybe you have clarity as to who the magician is. Maybe you have clarity or who's the one that's been like, um, Or somebody's moon magic gets rejected and it goes back and they and, and listen okay their moon magic gets rejected it goes back to its original owner and now they could be pissed about this because instead of taking accountability this energy wanted you to be wanted to cause some type of unfairness to you or somebody could have been very superficial and reliable as well um anyway See, I feel like somebody's moon magic has been rejected and then they get exposed or they get called out. The magician here could be a Cancer or a Pisces with the moon in reverse. Virgo, yeah. And they lose their reputation with the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah. So I feel like this energy isn't, isn't focusing anymore or they can't focus. Or they just have a lack of passion, inspiration, or they don't have no more power, or they believe that they do. Somebody feels like they have the power to ruin your reputation or make you, like, put you in the Eight of Pentacles in reverse or to cause you to be unfocused or something like that. All because they're watching. Yeah, the Page of Swords and the Four of Swords. This could be an energy, like, that spies on you, like, energetically in the hours, like, when you're resting or... This gets rejected because I feel like you're protected. Somebody here could be manifesting for you to lose your job, your employment, or for you to feel uninspired, for you to feel, or for you to be unfocused. This is what they're manifesting. They're putting that energy out there. Like when it has to do with your skills, your creativity, Virgo, they don't, they're trying to take your skills away, but you keep rejuvenating, you keep healing. <laughs> I don't know why they keep doing this and they keep getting rejected every time I, I just feel like somebody just needs to like give it up because they're not more powerful than you they could keep watching you here and try to like contemplate or or do, to do whatever i don't know but this is like an energy like watching you they're curious they will watch you and then they will meditate on your energy thinking that they have your energy or it's like they will watch you, they will they will meditate on your energy, and then they would like try to like steal your knowledge or something like that, and it's just it's just not working. <sighs> this could be a Virgo, another Virgo doing this. This could be a Cancer or Pisces. Yeah, so somebody has been called out as the magician that they are or the practitioner that they are. Mm-hmm. So it's like they want you to use your, they want you to have no potential, no skills. They want you to be careless and unfocused, Virg. What's the magician in the Eight of Pentacles? Yeah, the Two of Pentacles. They do this every day. They manage this. Somebody wants you to adapt to, just adapt to it. That's what I'm hearing. So just adapt to it. Being not motivated or like, oh, who is this? Capricorn energy. We have the two of wands. So something here about a choice. I feel like this energy. What's the two of wands, two of pentacles? Y'all could be seeing two, two, two. Somebody had a choice to end something here, but they didn't. Now they could be having to balance and prioritize their time or finances here. We have the empress. Somebody did not want this empress to use their intuition. So that way they will. Yeah, they'll be ten of swords. Look, the three of wands. Somebody did not want this empress 
or somebody had a hidden agenda with this empress to ten of swords them but it's like they don't have any foresight or somebody is is whoever this is they've been trying to cause this empress to have some type of setbacks or delays here this was the hidden agenda this all had to do possibly with a misunderstanding or this could have been like let's give the this empress some unwanted attention or or whatever Yeah, I'm picking up somebody did not want, they wanted to mess with somebody's foresight, or how they see, so their third eye as well. So, yeah, so somebody did not want this, somebody to see with their third eye, or they wanted to mess with someone's vision or foresight or their spiritual eye or whatever. What's the death card? So some type of investigation is over. Yeah, which is going to cause a lot of imbalance for people. What's the death card? This could be tra changing or you could be ending a cycle here with someone. What's the death? The death is the justice. Wow. So something is unfair. I'm picking up somebody's ending a new cycle. I mean, ending a cycle to start something new, but there's still some type of unfairness or there's still some type of dishonesty as to why a cycle is closing out or why somebody has changed or you could be dealing with an energy that's still like taking like lacking. What is going on with my words, Bert? You could be dealing with an energy that is not taking accountability for something that they changed or the unfairness that they have caused this could be someone receiving karma here okay for some type of unfairness yeah look at this somebody was very somebody was unfair five of swords the six of pentacles okay somebody wanted to revenge on their energy and they wanted to steal something from this person or put somebody in debt or all because they wanted power and domination or greed or they wanted the energy to kiss their ass and i'm getting this not happening what's this justice in reverse so karma is here for this energy five of pentacles what's the justice in reverse the king of swords yeah so i feel like somebody has a harsh lawyer or a harsh judge yeah i feel like somebody here is like harsh cold like very um truthful but it's like i don't know because the king of swords is coming up in the upright maybe this king of swords could be saying this either to you virg or to somebody else they could be telling someone or somebody's telling a libra or this is a libra here that's saying this that somebody is very like dishonest or this is a, a this is a judge or a lawyer <laughs> I'm getting Scorpio energy. This could be Libra, Scorpio type cusper. Is that Libra? The yeah, Libra, Scorpio. Or this could be a Libra or a Scorpio or a Gemini. It don't matter. So I feel like somebody has mental clarity. Yeah, so somebody's being released. The Eight of Swords. So something was not someone's fault. So the King of Swords could be releasing negative thoughts and... I don't know maybe this may be unfair or i don't know bird <laughs> either somebody could be being released out of prison or somebody's been trying to get an energy to go to jail or to get locked up they're not locking this person up they're not locking this person up because they didn't do anything I feel like somebody just wants to be unfair and they they fail to take accountability or to have integrity or to do the right thing or to make something equal. Something here is just not equal. Equal is not balanced. Someone does not have any clarity. Okay, so there's karma here. Somebody has to pay back a karmic debt. And I feel like somebody's going to get exactly what they want with the nine of cups. It could be this king of swords. They could be like, yes, I'm free. I'm not going to jail. I'm good. Yeah, so somebody's been trying to be unfair to this person in court. And, and they're like, yeah, that's, that's what's up. I ain't going to jail. Because I wasn't the one that I wasn't the one that did this shit. Yeah. Something here. Yeah, so the truth is that somebody's coming out of the cold here. Or they could be recovering. Somebody's getting some type of assistance. You could be getting assistance right now. Or you could be recovering from something. Okay. What's this nine of swords? So now there's an energy that's upset. They're triggered. They're mad because they're blocked. Their chariot is blocked. They could be very aggressive, having night sweats, nightmares, dreams. 
okay they're extra triggered here because they were careless what's the, you could be dealing with a cancer gemini type of energy whoever this is this is an arrogant ass person it's like they <laughs> they don't have any willpower something here about an investment or somebody put a lot of money into this investment. This could be a car that somebody invested in and they lost control of it. And they're pissed. Maybe somebody lost their car. Whatever they've been planning or... Um, mm -hmm. Or... Mm, what's the chariot in reverse with the nine of swords? We have the four swords. What is this? What's the Chariot of Four Swords? The Knight of Pentacles. I feel like somebody's unreliable because they don't have a vehicle. Or they, somebody took their vehicle or somebody's like, yeah, I'm going to take this vehicle back. Or you're not going to be getting all the hoes with this vehicle or whatever. <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles is literally like this in the Chariot in reverse. That's a, a car that's dead or somebody's car stopped working. Or this could be a black car. This could be an SUV. It don't have to be. Um, it could be a black truck, a white truck, or something like that with them colors. It just it just stopped. That car is just dead. It's just resting. Four swords, or maybe somebody's like sleeping in their car, or I don't know. Maybe energy is like very lazy. All they do is sleep a lot. They don't want to go nowhere or something like that. I don't know, Virgo. That would just this just kind of got weird for me. Somebody doesn't want to go anywhere, or maybe somebody's like making peace with a situation that like their chariot is blocked, or they're making peace that they're superficial, unreliable. This is the type of energy that I put in work, or they work without reward, or they want people to work for them without reward, or you're supposed to work for me and I, I don't pay you. Yeah, put all this work in. Yes, yeah, either somebody's pushing their car something here happened with somebody's vehicle or why they were inside their vehicle or their vehicle is stuck or something is going on maybe somebody's going to jail or maybe somebody here over here is not going to jail they got rejected from that and whoever this is right here they're triggered because they're actually going away what's the chariot in reverse the will of fortune it was faded okay so somebody's faded to be a star so i'm also picking up here virgo somebody tried to block a stars for a movement somebody's destined to be a star or they're destined to be seen or they're destined to be an inspiration to others or this is their destiny to be spiritual i'm picking up somebody's hoping that you would i don't know it's like somebody's like hoping that they have good luck or they're hoping that like you're their soulmate or they're hoping that you would like they're just wishing that you would turn the tables or something here when it has to do with time cycles with this uh with this will of fortune somebody's like hoping that you would turn the tables for them or i feel like someone feels someone feels bird that you have the power to change their fate to change their fortune you have the power but i don't feel like it's like that i feel like this is the energy that possibly put something out they stop their own forward movement from trying to stop yours i feel like you made peace with a situation or someone just has to make peace with things being stuck slow or them not being able to overcome these obstacles due, due to their superficial reasons or due to them being unstable or due to them being unreliable someone here is unreliable maybe because they sleep a lot or i don't know maybe they just want to be lazy bird yeah we have the justice here the three of wands i feel like you're waiting for justice or you're waiting for something to move in your favor this could be a court case you could be waiting on a court case you could have libra placements sagittarius aries or aquarius placements you could be waiting to move forward okay some of y'all could be actually waiting to move or you're waiting for something to pay off 
okay? So let's see what the Ten of Cups in reverse is. Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy. So a Capricorn could be pregnant or they could be insecure because they're unstable and they're pregnant. They could be pregnant by someone here. They could be, ooh, yeah. This person could be pregnant and they could be going away or they could be pregnant. This could have been somebody here that did something rude and tactless. They could be a follower or a coward. This person could be very insecure. They neglect their responsibilities. This is a lazy mother. They lack motivation. They're insecure. They're jealous. Okay, they could dabble into dark magic. This person could be a sex worker as well. Don't have to be, but they're very insecure. This person could be losing out on some type of stability here, especially with the, when it comes to, because they did a lot of dark magic on people, the spell work, and this is backfiring on them. And yeah, justice is here. So somebody here is getting justice while someone is getting karma, this period. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Cups? Yeah, with the sun. Yeah, somebody's pregnant. Definitely pregnant. This person, this Queen of Pentacles could have a, um, a a criminal background or they could have some type of warrant here with the Queen of Pentacles, I mean, with the Knight of Swords here. This could be a criminal background that they have where somebody's a, they're just a criminal or they just do criminal activities. Something here is coming out about this Queen of Pentacles. Give me the sun that they're pregnant. Yeah, the Page of Wands. What's the Page of Wands? Maybe this good news to you. Yeah, the Five of Swords. So this person maybe want to compromise or they want to end some type of conflict with you because they're pregnant. Okay, Bird. They want some type of peaceful resolution with you or they have to admit defeat. Is this your baby, Virgo? Queen of Wands. Okay, is the real true genuine partnership? So somebody possibly wants to be with the same sex, and they could have been lying about it. Or this King, Queen, and Queen of Okay, King and Queen of Wands is here. So two fire signs. Mm. What's this Five of Swords in reverse? Eight of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants to resolve something and move on, like. let's just abandon it like i'm not gonna be hateful i'm not gonna like i'm i feel like somebody here is surrendering okay like they're surrendering their underhanded behaviors or whatever this is if they've been because this spell work is hitting them like it, it's just hitting them and they're just abandoning the shit and just leaving they're walking away letting go yeah because of a tower this could be what they're going through Virg. it's like a planned tower here for you and then it end up backfire and backfire on this energy and it hits hits this energy so this could be someone here walking away because they're disappointment disappointed or they could be walking right into a tower something about red shoes as well red socks red shoes or red coat red jacket what's this tower the nine of cups and the death card yeah because somebody's wish was someone this is a wish somebody's wish came true for somebody to repeat some type of negative pattern or a negative cycle and it's like they just knew that somebody they was going to do this I, the king of cups knew <laughs> possibly because they were ghosted yeah i feel like the king of cups knew that somebody was going to keep doing some type of negative shit to someone or they, they knew that this energy, they, they, they knew that the Scorpio or Pisces or whoever was going to keep. Doing negative patterns. I mean, I don't know why that. What's this death in the nine of cups? So it's like they great joy. Yeah, because because I figure they wanted this cycle to close. Yeah, so they could blame the magician or who the magician was or somebody wanted to blame somebody from doing spell work. 
I don't know. They wanted to point the blame on someone here for doing this. Whoever this is, that never changed. I never changed. I just don't want you with no one else. Yeah, we have the Page of Cups. So either this person is still like dealing with some type of sexual from their childhood or... Mm -mm. This could talk about broken dreams because I'm getting this energy that I want to heal. Okay. I don't know. It's kind of like draining now doing these reads. <laughs> yeah, so what's this um what's the justice in reverse? Stalker. Somebody's obsessively stalking you, Virgo. And they refuse to take accountability. What's the justice in reverse? This could be... Okay, so this could be two women and one man that's stalking you. I'm, I'm getting these two women refuse to take accountability. They're very dishonest. They're stalking you right along with this damn masculine. Yeah, you have a gang of copycats watching you and stalking you, Virgo. That could be claw hungry. Give me these copycats. They dreaming about you. I'm picking up. Virgo, this is weird. This is what I'm picking up, okay? This could be this copycat that's dreaming and fantasizing about you. Somebody's fantasizing about you, Virgo. Mm. This could be someone here that has beef with you. But feeling to not take accountability. Yeah, we have a groupie. Either somebody sending some somebody sending sex magic somebody's way. Yeah. Give me this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles ain't shit. Why the Queen of Pentacles ain't shit? Because they started drama. This person is at war with someone. This could be, yeah, somebody here is at war with someone or they want to force some type of competition or somebody's messy here. Yeah, somebody's forcing something here or they're trying to like go and fight someone to have somebody to put in the hospital. What's this hospital visit will force these things on you? Cock blocking. And the drama started because somebody's into you. It's like somebody wants to steal your person away from you or they don't want you with this masculine. Yeah, so somebody's crying over you, bird. Because you ghosted them. They like love triangles and third parties. And I'm getting you're just not you're just not with it. Maybe this could be your copycat. This um, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Give me the copycat. It's a dirty offer. Your copycat could is coming with a dirty offer. I'm picking up. This could be like women that's beefing with you, and they could be copying off of you. Or these women that, that are beefing with you, they're like stalking you. They're watching you, and I don't know, Virg. It's just kind of it's a little weird there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on so you're not missing any of my videos, Virgo. And until next time, hopefully these messages resonate. I think this is going to be the last reading that I do for you guys. Um, I was going to do another Libra reading, but maybe later on. These readings could be a little draining or taking a toll um, on your girl, okay? Um, maybe somebody got into a fight and they had to go to the hospital too. That's what I'm picking up. Yeah, it's like somebody's willing to compete by any means necessary for someone. Okay, Bird, I'm going to leave it there. Y'all take care.